Welcome, this is Charles McNamara, and this topic is important for all Fire and Life Safety Directors, Deputy Fire and Life Safety Directors, and Building Evacuation Supervisors. As all of these individuals will be required to make announcements upon a fire or non-fire type of emergency. In the event of a fire, a medical emergency, or other non-fire emergency in the building, the Fire and Life Safety Director must report to the fire command station or a designated alternative location if the fire command station is compromised. They must also implement the fire safety and EAP plan. They must also notify arriving emergency response personnel of the nature of the emergency. They must also comply with the directions of emergency response personnel and other lawful authorities that arrive on scene. First responders will be coming once 911 has been notified. However, you are the incident commander until they arrive. It's time for you to take action and start making announcements. Speak slowly and clearly. When we're preparing for drills, An announcement similar to this should be done. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is your Fire and Life Safety Director speaking. We shall be conducting drills throughout the building as per Fire Department code. Please stand by for additional information. I repeat, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? When performing testing or any maintenance on the system, an announcement similar to this should be made. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is your Fire and Life Safety Director speaking. We shall be conducting a test of the building fire alarm system. Please disregard any audible and visual tones that you may see or hear. I repeat, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? When you get a fire alarm, there's a lot of things that must happen quickly. So it's important to have the fire and life safety team help you. But an announcement like this should be made. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is your fire and life safety director speaking. We have received an alarm signal on the 12th floor. Will wardens please investigate and report back? via the warden phone to the fire command station. I repeat, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is your fire and life safety director speaking. We have received an alarm signal. When making announcements, remember the following. What, where, what, why? What has occurred? Where it has occurred? What part of the plan is being implemented? And why? Getting this information out is extremely important during an emergency.